Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here bringing you some high elo gameplay. We are playing in Grandmaster Challenger elo. And who did we run into other than the one and only Tyler1, our former Twitch Rivals captain, our former Twitch Rivals uh, teammate. Now we are on the opposite sides of the rift. Now he is doing his uh, support to Challenger challenge. Well he, well, he got Challenger in support, so he's just kind of just like... I don't really know what he's doing these days. <laughs> he's just kind of queuing up. Um, he's been doing some really weird stuff. I really wish that I ran into him playing on support, but alas, uh, he's playing Aatrox mid, it looks like. And uh, I actually know I have played alongside his Aatrox. He played it in one of our scrims. Uh, so I, I listen, I know his Aatrox is uh, dirty, but uh, you know, it, it's really going to pain me to take the LP away from Tyler, but sorry, brother. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments if you guys uh, are enjoying these high elo gameplays. Uh, we're currently at a, I think we're exactly at 400 LP, about 200 LP away from Challenger. We got some, you know, Challengers, X Challengers in the game, whatever. Uh, but I've been really, really enjoying Pike. Um, not only enjoying him, but really kind of succeeding with him. Uh, I think Pike is low key, kind of strong. Uh, and I don't know if that's just because of the meta. There hasn't been like any like actual buffs or nerfs to this character. It's gonna get a little bit of damage on that Braum. Nice, very very nice. Good good little chunk there. Uh, neither bot lane actually had the leash, and we are both viciously fighting for level two. So what that means to me is that basically I'm pretty confident. That Hecarim is going to be pathing bot side. Just like Vayne Vayne said. Pretty sure Heck paths bot. I think we start he started either blue or some weird off meta start. Because his bot lane did not leash. So he probably started one of these camps and he's gonna be doing uh, he'll he'll be here in about a minute. He's gonna be chilling until then. Uh Ash started. She's got biscuits and pots, which means they've got a lot more sustain than us. And this is just like an easier lane for them. Like I, I, I think like a Braum versus Pike lane. Braum is totally okay with just like chilling and scaling. Pike, on the other hand, actually has to like proactively go out there and make some plays. So hopefully we'll be able to show you guys some playmaking tools here on Pike. It's gonna be hard for Hecarim to path bot if we're like under our turret though. So I mean, there's no way they're like going for a dive have my relic shield up for the cannon swing all right that's looking like first blood top one way or the other there we go nice 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 how's tyler doing also i like the adc mia ping for me taking the one cs that she was almost certainly going to miss <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love ADCs, man. Uh, but yeah, typically when I'm playing in high elo, I actually mute all. But, I mean, you can't mute all in a game with Tyler 1, right? It's, pa it's part of the content. Part of the, the, the fun of playing with that guy. Um, That looks pretty bad for us, not gonna lie. I mean, unless they totally turn that around. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Yeah, Silas came as well. It's a two for nothing, I think. Oh my god! It's a one for one. Wow, 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 wow. You should leave, Ari. You should leave. Wow, good stuff to my team. Okay, yeah. None, none of these, like, long or short-term trades are really going our way. So we'll probably just be, like, chilling. We'll probably just be chilling. I'm kind of just like keeping an eye on like what's going on over there. <laughs> yeah, it's not super fun to play against Ashen Lane. Oh, Riven hard, hard, hard greeted though. Unlucky. All right, River is warded. So if Karthus comes, I need to be going in when he's like right here. But it looks like he's on vision anyways. Got five seconds on my hook. Probably just going to be looking at blowing Braum's flash here. Nice. All right. Blue Blom Braum's flash. Uh, Vayne, please don't die to minions, bro. What are you doing? 
Oh, uh, it's it's going to be a fun game, isn't it, guys? Oh my god, he's staying with 28 HP, man. Bro, just go back. Just go back, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's gonna be leashing these. I'm 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 pretty confident that I can uh stop her back here. It's always a good idea to stop uh, ADCs back when they try to back right in front of you. Just throw them off throw them off uh tempo. Doesn't let them get the item spikes that they want. Doesn't let them get the wave formation that they want. But again, I kind I kind of uh am very suspect about this vein stain. <laughs> she has 150 HP now. I mean, once again, I can stop that. Uh, we could actually bring Karth to spot here. I can I can flash E onto them. Uh, Ash is super, super out of mana. Try not to make it too obvious, but okay, he's here now. Oh, she actually had the flash ready. All right, we just take the kill on Braum. I'm not sure we'll actually get Ash. Oh, we got the Ash. Okay, nice. Pull him off of that. Nice, nice, nice. What's up, Tyler? Oh, no way. The burn actually kills me. Oh, he kills us all now. <laughs> okay, well, that, I mean, that's unlucky. Wait, okay, so what killed me then? It had to have been possibly a minion hit me. So I still had a little bit of health left. Anyways, it, this is going to be a fiesta. I can absolutely already tell it's going to be a fiesta. But I like that. I, I like me some fiesta games, guys. I'm going to be real. Leash that for him. Uh, Hecarim is level 6. That guy's dead, huh? That guy's super dead. We're all dead, I think. She might be able to kill Heck. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. She gets another ulti. Okay, she gets another ulti charge. Let's go. Ari. I mean, Karthus is like flaming Ari for like showing up late, but it's actually not that bad. Pretty good result, actually. Okay, the his W hit blue. blue. <laughs> yeah, Karthus is a uh, hardcore flaming. It's all good. I think I think we're doing fine. Hecarim is a uh, five kills, and that's kind of scary, but like, I'm not too worried about it. Clear this out. All they need is my level six. Then I'll start, like, much more greatly contributing to the team. Like, right now, like, Braum can, like, heavily contribute just by, like, putting a shield up. But, like, I kind of need my ulti. Gotta be kind of careful about tumbling forward there, because we have, uh, they have Ash Arrow. Still pretty far from six. Brom's for sure gonna hit six before me. Um, it's not a great place to leave the wave, but whatever. Got all this vision swept out. We're gonna clear the control ward. See Brom moving up. I'm gonna pretend to leave and then come back over here. Okay, if that charm hit, it would have been good, but. I think it's just neutral now. He sees that I'm here. We're just chilling. We know Braum's gonna come over here and try to cue me. Just kind of stalling time. Kind of stalling time for my, uh, my Karthus. Now we still don't know where Hecarim is. Hecarim could be bought. Hecarim is almost certainly bought actually. Clear that there. Clear out some more vision from the river. I'm going to pretend to go bot, and then I'm going to double back to mid. 
I'm still only level five, man. It's a really hard kill on Aatrox. He's just so, so, uh, he's got so much sustain, you know what I mean? I think we go back to our vein. This is for sure not one of the more flashier pike games, but I think we're playing it like pretty fundamentally solid. Oh no, man. He actually died from that. <laughs> I mean, what can you do there, bro? Nice flash. Nice flash to redirect the Q. It gets a big shot down on her too. Nice. Oh man, I'm so sad that the Braum died. My eat my R didn't go off. Zero three guys. We are we are vibing. I mean, I'm here. Like, we should for sure fight this. There is just no way this is good. You're, uh, you're, you're tilted, brother. He's in two. Nice. Got. Nice. All right. It's looking good, boys. The cannon. We get a 2v1 bot out of Ari. Okay. Okay. All right. So I almost always go uh, Umbral. Umbral rush over Dustblade rush. And then I've also started going Time Warp Tonic. I think Time Warp Tonic is just like actually god tier. So four runes, you got Halo Blades, Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, Relentless Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, and Time Warp Tonic. That's the runes that I've started mixing up. I think in, in High Elo, especially, Time Warp Tonic is like actually god tier. There's no way he goes with us. Also, this RZD guy, I really hope we win against him because he like hard, he like single-handedly lost me a game earlier today. Just like went for a complete ego play. We were 8.5 thousand gold up and he just goes for like a ridiculous ego play. So I hope I get my LP back from him. I think I need to stay mid. Even though like Ari's really, really strong and I want to play around her. Actually, I think, no, I think I, I, I go down for Ari right here. Oh. Mm. Nice, it gave me both those resets. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Can I get Tyler too? Where's he at? He went left. Uh, he ulted. I think we just leave, don't we? I mean, certainly we don't dive this. Okay, yes, Pike ult. We should absolutely just, like, not fight during this. Don't fight during Pike ult. Silas says Pike ult. And it like scales with an AP ratio. It's like psychotic. This is like literally like the worst part of playing Pike versus Silas. Is you just give him your ult and he his ult like does way more damage than your ult. So it's literally just like a chance to give them like 4,000 gold if he gets resets. Yeah, Hecarim's somewhere over here. Get our cannon. Next dragon up in three minutes. We'll let her clear that because we're the one revealing it. So if you're the one revealing it, always let someone else clear it, right? That goes for Umbral, Red, you know, Red Trinket. Nice. 
Nice. No way, man. I mean, that was a little greedy, to be honest. I, I, I went for a play that was pretty risky, but... The good news is, our jungler got a kill. And our jungler is Karthus. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He did it. He got the pike ult. Oh, no. Okay, so he got a... Shutdown of 300 gold plus... Probably an additional 300 gold, I would say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, we're, we're starting to throw a little bit. I mean, what are we doing? Wait, we're actually just griefing. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing, bro? I think she got baited by, like, Karthus pinging her R or something. But we're just walking into Ash and Brom. Is Riven dead here? Riven might be dead. Ah, oh, she's fine. Should be fine. Interesting. I'll just split, I guess. I mean, it's not that you have to split, it's that you just have to, like, not literally walk into them. Thank you. All right, that should be pretty much guaranteed a uh, dragon. I really want this dragon as like our late game insurance. Uh, Vayne's going to be doing Rift Herald. I mean, we've given our team a, an additional 2,400 gold. Like, no matter what you say about our play this game, like, it hasn't been perfect for sure, right? But all things considered, we're doing decent. Ah, shield bow's just too broken, man. We don't have Karthus alt here. Our Vayne was getting Rift Herald. I don't know. We got we got to start taking some smarter fights, TBH, or we could totally throw this game. Okay. Okay. Nice cleanse, actually. Okay. Let's go. I think she kills Hecarim, too, actually. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. I'm coming, brother. I'm coming, brother. I mean, this is not worth for him. No! No, man! People keep dying too soon. I'm so sad. Okay, that was Ari's fl er, Ar Ash's flash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Aatrox does not build Eclipse. I'm, I'm pretty certain of that. Uh... Wait, why am I building Eclipse, though? That's actually so bad. I did not mean to build Eclipse. I'm gonna wait 30 gold and get my dust wave though. So I just like mind controlled into building Eclipse because Tyler built it or what? <laughs> what? How did, wait, how did this get in my inventory? <laughs> OK. 
Okay. I mean, they used a lot there, though. That was Aatrox ult, Ash ult, and Braum ult, and they can't do Baron. I mean, there's no way they just, like, walk the Baron here. Okay, we just killed their jungler. Might be able to collapse on something here. This is kind of like a hard... Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. It's an ace for two. I think we gave one or two shutdowns, but... Dude, I'm gonna be real. I do not like shutdowns. I, I think that shutdown... I've never liked the shutdown system, but now that shutdowns exist in addition to objective shutdowns, I hate them. I, I, I feel like games are so stressful when you're ahead that it's like... <laughs> It's literally, like, so much more stressful than it used to be. Nice. Uh, I mean, we could do Baron here, but I think I'd rather just, like, set up for Dragon. Oh, man. Whatever. I denied the ult. It's a pretty greedy back. It's whatever. Uh, we'll go Edge of Night. Third item. Rip. I, j I just want to be doing Baron here. I, I don't want to be playing both sides of the map. I, I hate when we have like two people over here, three people over here. Like this looks like a pretty good pick to be honest, especially because he has no ult, but I really would rather just like be properly controlling the, the map and like controlling the, the dragon and everything. I also think I would probably prefer getting dragon over Baron here, but whatever. Hopefully we can get both. Because the way I see it, like, Baron makes you really strong and, like, push, in, like, three waves into them for, like, what is this, like, four minutes or something? But getting Dragon essentially sets you up for Soul, which makes you strong for the rest of the game. So, luckily, in this scenario, we looks like we get both of them. I am a player that would m much rather prefer play for Dragon over Baron or Rift Herald. Wait a second. It's looking pretty dead. Oh my god, we didn't get the we didn't get the Dragon! We didn't get the Dragon! Oh my god, and now we give shutdowns. And objective shutdowns for... Oh my god. See? You, you, like, you see what I mean? Okay, nice. I think they threw Dragon too. <laughs> I, th I, th I think they also threw dragon. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. It's a fiesta voice. I mean, he has pike ult. We, we need to be careful here. They have no vision. Just gonna let Vayne do the dragon. Nice. All right, now we're now we got a good setup. I I'm so much more comfortable playing late game. Even with champions that don't scale well with Ocean Drake. I, j I just, it's the best. You've just got like a comfort blanket over you. All right, now let's end this game, boys. I've still got a, a quarter of Baron left.
I mean, I'd be go. If she didn't have shield bow, I could go in there and assassinate her. But the second I do damage to her, she's just gonna pop shield bow. Oh wait, did she not? Wait, did she not have shield bow earlier? Oh no, it was locket shield earlier. Oh my god, I thought she had shield bow. There's Hexalt. Use it to run away. Okay, we're both both teams are down one alt. We're about to run out of Baron. This is, we have Baron for like ten more seconds, maybe. Ooh, almost got that guy. All right, we just clear this out. I'm not really too worried about like getting caught by any CC over the wall. There's Ash Arrow. It doesn't matter. Maybe get the turret, guys. All right. One down. Got another ulti. Oh my god, it actually gave that to me. It wasn't quite as generous with that one, was it? Put the ignite on Tyler. That's gonna be a wrap, boys. Tyler, your team sucked, bro. This isn't even your fault, man. Uh, eight, seven, and fourteen. Not, not the best game, not the worst game. It be what a b boy. Sometimes solo queue is like that. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this game and want to see some more high elo pike gameplay coming out of the GSA, make sure you guys uh, comment down below and let me know. Uh, GG, fellas, and uh, GG to you too, Tyler. Take it easy, brother. Peace. Uh...